Five games remain in our Premier League season here for season number two. And it is bloody intense. The race for European football well and truly on. And with games up against teams that are all around us in the table, we're going to have to make sure we are on top of our game. Welcome to episode 29 of the Southampton Career Mode series here in FIFA 21. I hope you lads are excited. I'm bloody excited. I'm nervous as well, but we're going to have to be absolutely firing here. Seventh position, 54 points. Come on, lads. The fixture list is not easy to round out the season either. There's a few tough, tough games. There's a few games we should be winning. We've got Wolves at home, Watford away, Chelsea at home, Blackburn away, and the final day of the season could be a bloody European qualifier as we have Aston Villa at home. I'm also currently a little bit depressed about Aston Villa because they just beat Fulham overnight. Oh, God, pain. But if you lads do want to enjoy today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new around here. Let's get into today's episode. So here we go, lads. A massive, massive challenge as we face ninth placed Wolves at home to kick off today's episode. Let's set the tone for today's episode nice and early. Four goals off, breaking the Premier League goal scoring record while well, tying. I think the record is 32. 28 goals for Danny Ings. That is another storyline headed into today's episode. But here we go, lads. At home, overcast day down south. Let's get this dub. So taking a look at our starting 11 for this game. It is our strongest possible starting 11 out on the park here. Ginter in there. Genduzi, Brooks, James Ward-Prowse. Got Lamina on the bench. They're ready to go. Edwards, Ings, McNeil. We need everybody firing against a pretty good Wolves side. And taking a look here at the Wolverhampton starting 11. Consigli in between the sticks. Interesting signing for them. Uh, Issa Diop in their back line as well. They've made some good signings there, Wolverhampton. Pizzi in there. Uh, Dama Traore, Jimenez, and Potence. <laughs> Dama Traore makes me nervous. They've got Callum Hudson and Doyle on the bench as well. Okay. Jimenez going there to Potence. They got a numbers advantage here. Oh, tried to make a strong tackage, tackle on uh, Jimenez. Raul Jimenez on the attack again. No! Oh my god, we're lucky. Moutinho passed that one. We got so bloody lucky there. Holy crap. Would love a counter out of this though. Didn't realize how far they had that man though. Oh yes, good win though from Danny Ings. Danny Ings, he's off by a country mile, isn't he? He's not! Edwards! Edwards makes it 1-0! I thought for all money Edwards was offside there. But he is not, and we have taken the lead here after probably deserving to concede earlier. Wow, okay. I thought he was offside by all money. Hopefully VAR doesn't interject. Maybe Semedo or someone was keeping him onside, but you know what? We are not complaining. Marcus Edwards on the scorer sheet and giving us the lead here at St. Mary's. Going to go out here to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw just running through, going there. Ball being played around. Ward Prowse goes there to Brooksy. Brooksy, oh, Brooksy though. Come on, get a good finesse. There it is. 2 0. How's the power on it from Brooksy? We have doubled our advantage here. This is a dream start at home here. The deflection has fallen perfectly to him in acres of space. Look at that. The FIFA gods, well and truly on our side to kick this one off. David Brooks, what a finesse. Let's go. Nice one. Here we go. Ward Prowse feeding it through to Ings. Look at the space. They're running back here with their defender. I see again Doozy. Fuck it. Oh my god, Brooksy! Brooksy! Oh, straight at the keeper. I wanted to go to Gendouzi, lads. We are on absolute flames right now. Nice one, Gendouzi, having an absolute blinder so far as the Frenchman. And we might be through here. That's a lovely tap on there too. Brooksy, I'm going to go for the sweaty goal here. And it's Danny Ings. He's going to make it 3-0. And we are going to have his 29th goal of the season. That all stems from Gendouzi. Lads, this might be the best start to a game we have had. We have felt absolutely insanely strong in every area of the field. Big tackles all around. The midfield making absolute moves and the attack clinical. This is a dream start in a must-win European game. Nice. 
Yes! Ward Prowse and Ganduzi are having some of their best performances of the season. Feeding it through here. Brooksy, please! Brooksy! Brooksy! 4 nil. This is absolutely phenomenal! Brooksy makes it 4! This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Ward Prowse and Ganduzi are getting so many opportunities for our attack. Brooksy has a first half brace, and we have four at St. Mary's. Come on, the Saints. All right, it is a corner here for Wolverhampton. Cannot allow them away into this game to start off the second half. They go through there. They get the header. We'll let it roll. Pizzi on the attack here. Just trying to defend. No, get in front of it. Okay, let's not fall asleep. A clean sheet's gone. That was shocking defending from me. Half an hour to hold on here. We have a 4-1 advantage. Hopefully that's nothing but a consolation. Nice one, Ward Prowse. Great positioning again. And now, Ingsy, going here. Feed it. Brooksy. Brooksy! He gets himself a hat-trick. And he restores the four-goal advantage. That is exactly what we're after. Wolverhampton started to play a little bit of a press there. But we just read that perfectly. Ward Prowse, another assist. And Brooksy would be close to second in the Golden Boot Race now, which is insane. Beautiful finish. Going to make a triple substitution here as well, fellas. Trying to make sure certain players don't get injured and have stamina for the next game. So we're bringing off Brooksy. We're bringing off McNeil. And we're bringing off Ganduzi. Dienapo, Lamina, and Diallo all on. Come on, Diallo, running up the guts. It's absolute feeding season here. Out to Edwards, got us on the go on the uh, scoreboard nice and early. Ingsy, feeding it through. Lamina can't... No! Oh, Lamina! Oh, my God, I don't even know how he got there in time. 89th minute here, fellas. Yes, good stuff, Bednarek. I was about to say, need to keep another one out here. Make sure they don't get another goal back just for purely out of a respect basis and for goal difference. I tell you what... It'd look good for our goal difference. If we can get a sixth goal, Lamina on a platter, Danny Ings. This is for 31. It's safe from the keeper. Oh, goal number 30. I think that would have been for Danny Ings this Premier League season. But that is going to be all she wrote, folks. And that is a phenomenal start to today's episode. A 5-1 demolition job of Wolves. Brooksy with a hat trick. Incredible stuff, lads. It has been an episode filled with doves. Dubs, not doves, not the bird. We got Wolves, dub. The win, dub. And now Watford, dub. And hopefully a fourth dub in that one. Let's hope we can get three points here. After that performance against Wolverhampton, confidence is at an all-time high. We are on absolute fire lately. We need to back it up again here, though, at Vicarage Road. Oh, is he going to get there? Surely he gets there, Danny Ings. He's on 29 goals. He needs three goals to tie the Premier League record. So here we go. Here is a look at the Watford starting 11. Barkman in between the sticks. Dawson. Tomiyasu, who is an absolute beast in career mode in the back line there. Gonsalves, who is an absolute weapon as well. Jal Pedro. Hernandez up top. There's a few dangerous, dangerous players for sure. Ismaili Star on the bench as well. Watford are in the relegation battle. So this is a big game for them. They need points to survive the Premier League right here. So they've got all on the line. We've got a lot on the line. We are rocking the exact same side that demolished Wolverhampton. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Defend here, lads. Defend. Hernandez on the attack early. Bednarek. No, I had it. If I just stayed the course, I would have had the tackle. But ultimately, Jordan Pickford made the, made the save. All right, it is another corner here for Watford. Ball swung in. They win the header. How the hell did they win that header? That is absolutely pathetic defending. We are so fortunate that Tomiyasu has missed that one by an absolute inch. Right, Edwards got the goal nice and early in that last game. Trying to feed through Danny Ings here. Danny Ings holding it up to Brooksy. That's 1-0. Brooksy has another goal. Let's go and celebrate with the away fans. That is a dream start to this game here. We've been under the pump. But we hit them on the counter-attack. Very unselfish play from Danny Ings. Trying to go for that record. But ultimately puts the team first there. On a platter for Brooksy. Great movement. Great goal. 
great run of form. Come on, Southampton. Let's go. I'd be filthy if that was my goalkeeper, to be fair. Uh, Hernandez. Defend, lads. Defend. Defend. No. No. Get in front. Good save, Pickford. Watch the follow-up. Just clear it. Good. Just clear that. Good. Oh, my God. We oh, my God. Brooksy. Feeding this one to McNeil. Come on, lads. We've got everybody coming forward right now. McNeil holding it up. Going there to Brooksy. Brooksy through. It's going to be Edwards. Come on, lads. How's the clinicality? Marcus Edwards. Two goals in two games. That is brilliant attacking play. We are on fire, lads. This has been one of the best runs of form we've had in a long time. We are nowhere near home. 2 0 early in this game, but so far. I am a big fan of everything that I'm seeing. Come on. Come on. Go. Ings for goal number 30. For goal number 30, he gets it. This is great. Watford absolutely collapsing here. And we are the kings of the first half. This shit has been tough. But we are just making it happen. Great ball from Brooksy. Pathetic defending from Watford, and we make it 3-0 just like that. <sighs> Rico on the attack, going there. No, get in front of it. Watford have a goal back. Watford have a goal back. Again, just losing concentration, and all of a sudden we have a bit of a game on our hands again. Go on. Ward Prowse, through here. McNeil, come on McNeil. McNeil! We have the buffer extended to three again. That's the dream response. Dwight McNeil making it 4-1. This is a ridiculous first half. Watford playing the press straight from the kickoff. And you guys know that I love when the teams play the press because it's opportunities galore. Come on, maybe there's one last opportunity here in this first half. Don't you dare blow that whistle, referee. Don't you dare blow that whistle because Danny Ings, Danny Ings, Danny Ings forces a good save out of the keeper. Ward Prowse. Just need a ball in here. Ward Prowse going to Ings again. Ings. Go through. No. That would have been so good, but it's half time. We're insanely good right now. Trying to defend here. Get in front of it. Bednarek against Hernandez. I need you to cover center. Yes, nice. Nice. Holy dooly. There's the press. All of a sudden, we're on the counter again. Edwards just holding down this R2 button. I'm looking at you, Brooksy. We're going to go through. Brooksy makes it five. Another goal. He's seriously pushing right now for the golden boot. Forget about Danny Ings breaking the record. Brooksy has put himself into the record-breaking books. And the Welsh Wizard makes it 5-1 again. The press is so easy to counterattack. And we're on fire. They keep it in. Oh, my God. We can't allow them to run like that. Watford on the attack here, looking for a way into this one. They've gone the heel to heel there. Good save, though, from Jordan Pickford. Trying to defend, fellas. Trying to defend. Please, no, yes. No. No! Come on. Yes, blocks. Get away. Come on, counterattack. Plus. Edwards keeping it in. Look how far that guy's running back. I won't say no. Go on there to Ings. Things going to Ganduzi. Look at McNeil. McNeil hit it on the volley. McNeil. That would have been such a good goal there. From Dwight McNeil on the volley. That would have been the icing on the cake. Throw in here, fellas. Thirsty for a sixth goal. Brooksy feeding it. Danny Ings. There we go. Goal number 31, I believe, for Danny Ings' Premier League season. The record is well and truly on here. Come on, Ingsy. Come on, Southampton. That is an absolute peach of an assist as well from Brooksy. All day, every day, lads. Come on. Pressure. Yes. Come on. Feed it. This is for the equaliser. Oh, no. Danny Ings had a chance to equalise the record there. Still on, though. Edwards. Through it again, Doozy. Genduzi to Ings. There, no! Come on, Ingsy! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Danny Ings could have the record by now. Oh. Come on. 
Surely you don't blow the whistle here. No! Ah, oh well. We dominate. We absolutely dominate, fellas. That win was unbelievable. 6-1. We've scored 11 goals in our past two games. We might have just relegated Watford there. And we have well and truly secured ourselves as a front runner for European football. Come on, lads. This is unbelievable. We have received a loan offer here for Alan Chapchet. You guys know that I'm happy to send him out on loan. We've accepted two offers here. And both of them have been rejected by the player himself. So, hopefully... We can send Alan Chapchet to Rotherham United on a two-year loan move. But ahead of this game against Chelsea, this is how the race for European football looks. With three games remaining, we are breathing down the necks of Tottenham. And I mean, if we're able to beat Chelsea here, no, nah, we can't, eh? We can't mathematically finish in the top four. So we can qualify for the Champions League qualifying matches, but we can't qualify automatically. The highest we can finish is 5th, the lowest we can finish is 8th, but if we get a point in any of our next 3 games or Wolves drop points, the lowest we can finish is 7th. So we are looking very good here for a Europa League spot. I know 6th definitely gets European football, 7th, I think it depends on the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, I'm sure you guys can elaborate on that. but. We are looking very, very good at the moment, lads. And in terms of the top goal scorers, Ings is on 31 goals. Brooksy is on 28. Given how things are going, there is this real possibility of both Danny Ings and David Brooks, the Welsh wizard himself, breaking the Premier League goal scoring record, which would be absolutely phenomenal. But here we go, fellas. It is a massive Premier League game here. Chelsea at home. We have been in incredible form. I would love if we pulled out something like that again here. Will this be the day that Danny Ings either equalizes or breaks the Premier League goal scorer's record? We're about to find out. It's an overcast day down south here. Big game for both sides. If Chelsea get a point, I believe, in this one, that would probably secure them Champions League football next season. If we get a win here, that's going to go a long way into securing us Europa League football and even could put us in a Champions League qualifying spot. Let's go, Southampton. Really need Spurs to lose or drop points, whoever they're versing. Also, look, I told you, that was a massive loss for Watford in the relegation battle last game. So here we go. Here is a look at our side. You guys know what I'm about to say. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We have been scoring goals for fun and have looked insane in the past two games against Wolves and Watford. But Chelsea, I'm sure we can all agree, is a whole different challenge. It's a whole different level. Going to need the lads to step up. Up. And now for a look at Thomas Tuchel's Chelsea side. Kepa Aretha Malaga in between the sticks. We would have seen it before, but Dali Blind in the back line there with the captain's armband. Di Maria and Kante in the midfield with Hakim Ziyech, Timo Werner, and Christian Pulisic all there. That's a strong bench, though. Quadrado, Batshuayi, Havertz, Visca all on the bench. So many half opportunities in this one, but nobody able to get a good ball through. I fucked that one up, but in the end, went probably the right way. Going there to Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Goes. 1-0. Brooksy has the goal. I was so tempted to just go with Danny Ings and secure the equaliser for the Premier League record. But Brooksy, squaring it across to Brooksy was definitely the more sensible option. A better look and a secure goal. We've got to get the points end of the day. And we have got the lead here against Chelsea at home. And it's deja vu. Danny Ings, David Brooks linking up and making it happen. Go on there. Danny Ings. Danny Ings. Oh, I should have gone to Brooksy. I wanted to go to Brooksy. Danny Ings again, though. I see Ward Prowse. No real option to get it to him, though. There is now. There is now. Ward Prowse. Oh, it's two. James Ward Prowse. Let's go! I had the biggest voice crack there. We are 2 0 up. We are on absolute fire, lads. This has been, I've got to say, one of the best episodes in terms of performances. What an assist from Brooksy. What a finish from James Ward Prowse. Holy crap, lads. We are. Oh my god. Oh, fuck off. 
Free kick here for Chelsea. De Maria putting that one through. Easy. Just want to whip on it from him. Come on, counter-attack, please. This is what we're looking for. Walker Peters has got a bit of pace about him. I also see a run there from Brooksy. Brooksy! Brooksy! Come on! Brooksy! Shoots! Oh, safe! Danny Ings! Oh, what a block from James! What a block! No! Win that. Nice. Uh-oh. Bit of press here from Chelsea. McNeil, though. Feeding it through beautifully to Brooksy. Brooksy! There it is! 3-0! 3-0! Brooksy! I think that's his 30th goal for the season. I think that's his 30th goal for the season. Him and Ings legitimately might break this record together. I could have, I probably should have squared it there for Danny Ings, to be fair. We are just firing on all cylinders. I cannot wait for the comments saying, oh, you're playing on semi-pro, you're playing with sliders. You sh I'll show you every game. We're playing on ultimate, lads. We just finally have worked out how to use this team. It is glorious. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Don't give him away back in. Don't give him away back in. Cooler Barley going there to Pulisic. Vernar. No shot for Vernar. No shot for Di Maria either. Oh my god, he's just done it for the skills. Thankfully, the shot was right at Jordan Pickford. That was saucy from Di Maria. Oh, I thought we meant the tackle, man. Havertz, go in there. Defend, lads. No! Oh, why am I doing this? Why am I... Oh, they get a goal back again. I've conceded three goals in this episode. They've all been cheap. They've all been bloody cheap. It's good that our team's been scoring goals for fun. Also, Kai Havertz, what are you doing? You're down 3-1 in the 68th minute. And you celebrate with the manager. That was shocking for me. I was in control of Bednarek there. Hands up. That was bad. Let's hold on. Uh-oh, the press is back. And it's all of a sudden created way for Brooksy to get his 31st goal of the season. Brooksy! 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 Holy shit! Brooksy has a hat-trick! And he is now tied with Danny Ings on 31 goals! For the Premier League season, this is unbelievable. Unbloody believable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fen lads. Havertz up against Bednarek here. Can't allow them a fourth. It's all about pride now, lads. Can't take on there to Werner. Werner. Yes, Gintar. Just clear it, Jared. Okay, good. Win it now. Come on. I see you, Edwards. Ward Prowse on a platter to Edwards. Edwards, can he make it five? I can't believe I'm saying this. Edwards, I kind of want to get the record here. Oh, I was trying to be unselfish. I was trying to get the record. Go through to Gendouzi. Gendouzi! Oh, good save. Still on. Brooksy. Going to Walker Peters. Walker Peters. Get it onto one of our players. Brooksy or Ings, I don't care. Ward Prowse. Go in there. No, oh, fuck. Gendouzi. Going out there to Luke Shaw. Come on, lads. Surely. Luke Shaw going to McNeil. Going. Brooksy. Danny Ings. He scores it. No, he's offside. Oh, he had the record tied up and he's offside. He had the record tied up and he's offside. Oh. Nice win, McNeil. Come on, maybe there's one last opportunity. Danny Ings! Danny Ings! Please! Ingsy! Ingsy! No! Oh, Kepa! Are you taking the piss? The FIFA gods, Alan Shearer is controlling the CPU right now. They've called full time. Oh, my God. What, an, what a win, though. We beat Chelsea 4-1. Holy crap. Those might be three of the best, most dominant victories we have had, and at the perfect time as well. What an unbelievable episode, lads, and fantastic news. Aston Villa have lost. Aston Villa have lost. We have virtually secured Europa League football for season number three, but it all comes down to us and Tottenham 
for the final Champions League spot. They have a game in hand, and they are one point ahead of us. We need them to drop points. We need a miracle from them. Holy crap, lads. Both Brooksy and Danny Ings have 31 goals in the Premier League. 28 assists as well from Brooksy is insane. The lads are firing in every single way. What an incredible episode. What an incredible episode for scoring goals. Phenomenal, lads. Absolutely phenomenal. We are going to leave the episode here and get geared up for a monumental Season 2 finale. Two games remain in the Premier League. Will we qualify for a Champions League knockout game? We are going to find out or qualification game. But lads, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. I'll see you for the season finale very soon. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.